So we're going to pay for the subscription and it will be added to the list. There's no user on this moment because we didn't pay and showed you in another tutorial how you can set it up. With Uncanny Animator. And let's just refresh the page. Let me see here with the recent member. Confirm it because it's a kid's. I'm a little bit. But took too, too long. So now it will, be, it will be running now on the prof. Just remember. Subscribe for it. As you see here, it's added to Primedic. Here it is. You see here the form and the form ID. And there's also a new user. Go back to Primedic and to the entries and cancel the subscription. So you can see here there is still a subscription. So we go here to the dots, cancel subscription, subscription, yes sir. We've cancelled. Wait a little bit. And it's cancelled. And we go into our numerator and we go to all the recipes and we're gonna see what we've done. First thing. We added the webhook to Stripe and then we get data and the webhook on Stripe is <coughs> we fill in the URL, web URL that you have uh, created with Uncon Animator and then you select for subs uh, subscription um, create it, delete it, and you can also choose for past or depending on update. You can uh, choose whatever you want, but in this case, we all only need delete it. <coughs> so that's what you have to do in Stripe, and then run the webhook go here to the webhook and then you're going to run it on this button here and once you've done that then you can all get all the data and we have to use this data now you can use uh, uh, you can create a lot of uh, scenarios so also uh, the ending period the end date of the subscription so uh, you can choose uh, the data from the end uh, of the subscription so that they can add in still their um, membership level until the day that the subscription ends so you can also choose for that but i'm not going to show you that now but uh, it's just to show you how uh, how everything works then you have to make another webhook and this webhook is coming from wishlist membership now go to the setups, you have uh, go to the integrations and once you have the integrations then you choose for the webhook and so you must activate it and then copy this webhook and put it in Uncanny Animator and then customize the webhook and the actions will be running add them to a membership level, I'm going to delete this one because it doesn't work it will only work if uh, you have added to uh, Stripe to, uh, to to grab the data from Stripe, but we didn't in this case. So it's only that you will remove them from a particular le level, but in this case they will be removed from all the levels because I didn't select the level ID, and this is also what you can select. So I'm gonna save it. 
<coughs> now um, you can grab here the level IDs as well from this webhook and uh, actually you can grab everything what you want but it's uh, getting maybe it's getting too complicated but then you can filter out everything but uh, we, go, we keep it simple this time so we go into um, what to do if the user still exists do nothing or create a new user so you have to choose for create a new user and then fill in the email address and the name and that came also from the webhook so you go into the webhook and then you, you uh, search for uh, the token uh, email and you can see here the email so you can uh, use that and the other uh, the other one that you need is uh, the name so you go in here and then you filter out the name so that is the customer's name and that also came from the webhook here up at the top okay so once you've done that the role is subscribed then you save I'm gonna embed this webhook that came from uh, wishlist membership and you have to use the URL that we've made web, web URL it must post don't change anything here keep it as it is it's very important post and then you have to embed the key email you and username that's the values that we're going to use so that um, wishlist membership knows what he has to do and where he for what for customer so you can uh, filter that out you can filter out more but we keep it simple as i told you and then you go to the data from the webhook from this webhook oh no sorry from the webhook again from this webhook and then you're going to grab um, the email once again and once again the metadata name and once you've done that then you can save the whole thing don't forget to keep it uh, on draft when you're working here and then later on you got to use the f it in the live mode and you can select here whatever you want because it doesn't work it's just uh, uh, necessary to run the webhook because it grabs uh, the data from uh, the webhook from stripe so that uh, will run first and it won't um, actually this function won't work but you have to put in once one at least one and so everything what you filter out is from the webhook from stripe stripe gift commands and okay <clears throat> so don't use outgoing but use incoming because outgoing is uh, to send the data and incoming is to income to wishes membership keep it live so top of that on and that's basically all everything and if you want to map it in, in a different kind of way then you can use uh, the username you can change the username and the password and the f uh, first name and last name so if you change the passwords uh, then you also have to uh, um, change it in here so it will override the default settings so keep that in mind if you have your form and uh, you, you use passwords then you have to put it in here otherwise keep it as it is so uh, yeah very simple it's not so uh, complicated actually the only thing is that you have to know it's how it works once you know and don't uh, this but meant most of the uh, things don't things are complicated because then you won't get out you won't figure out how it works keep it simple in your mind thanks for watching and I'll see you next tutorial